who is this for? I, I, I've been doing a lot of thinking about who am I writing for? Who am I making these podcasts for? Who am I making these videos for? And the answer is uh, not everyone. Definitely not everyone. I, I think there's lots of people who, who, if they found this stuff, they'd be like, what? I don't even and leave. And that's fine. Basically trying to talk to the 25 year old version of myself. So let me tell you about that guy. 25 year old Tyler was living semi conventionally, had a normal career, normal job, but had a lot of doubts about where it was all going, if any of it mattered. You know, I, I've, I'd, I'd never, and I have never, been that interested in living comfortably, uh, having a comfortable life, and I just think it's really boring. Um, I'm not curious about it at all. I, it, living a comfortable life just has almost no appeal. Like I don't, I don't want to be uncomfortable all the time. But you know, uh, having a comfortable uh, life is is just not up there on the priority list. Like I always wanted to be involved, do things that are interesting, live unconventionally. I just had this strange urge to, to do weird shit. Mostly I think just cause it was interesting. I think it was a sense of curiosity. Like, I wonder what that's like. I wonder what that's like. And I wanted to learn what these different ways of living were. Um, and, and so I did them like in, in college, in university, my fifth year, uh, winter quarter of my fifth year, I lived for a month in a tent in the mountains above campus at, uh, for the first month. And then the rains came and, and the road up there turned to clay and it was really difficult to get up there. So I just slept in the front seat of my truck, like for the next two months, the rest of the quarter. And I was sleep deprived and I just ate bagels with peanut butter. Um, and it was really hard, but it was amazing. Like I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was one of the, <laughs> it was one of the happiest three months of my life. Like to date, I look back on that time very fondly and it was extremely uncomfortable. Right. So, uh, I wouldn't want to do that, you know, um, full time or anything like that, but episodes of things like that. Um, like I was really curious once I had the idea it, and it was a friend's idea. Uh, once my buddy Chan was like, Hey, let's do this. I was like, yeah, let's do that. I want to know what that's like. Right. And, and so take that kind of instinct that desire uh for curiosity and then uh, mash it up with with uh you know a, a critique uh, of of the world what what's going on with the world a concern for the predicament a concern for how we humans seem to be shitting where we eat um where we seem to be on a collision course with learning the hard way that after the last tree is cut and after the last last fish is caught that money cannot be eaten, right? And so I have, I have enormous concern about that whole realm of inquiry and this curiosity for living unconventionally. And those two things come together. And like, that's my life. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm into. And I like writing and I like talking about it. Right. And so 25 year old me was really stuck. He didn't really know what to do about it. Um, there were some practical how to's that I just didn't have put together. And I feel like in the last three years, I've figured a lot of that out. And I'm super psyched about it. And I just want to kind of shout it from the rooftops. And I'm also intensely curious and stoked and excited for where this is going to go in the future. Uh, you know, <laughs> now I think like, what's my life going to look like in a year? What's my life going to look like in five years? Cause man, I have no idea, but it's, I'm going in a really cool direction and I'm psyched on that. But 25 year old me, did not have a trajectory in, a, in, in to the unknown, right? Like I kind of knew what was going to happen and I didn't really like that, uh, but I didn't really know what to do about it. I didn't know how to escape. I didn't know how to get my own freedom. Um, and I've, I've figured that out now. And so now I just want to talk about that. I want to figure out how, how I got around that obstacle um, so that I, I feel like I'm now able to live an interesting life, a, a life that's interesting to me uh, where I can, satisfy my curiosity endlessly over and over again. Like, Ooh, what's this like? What's this like? What's this like? I can do all these different things and I can combine that with my concern for, um, you know, what to do about the predicament, right? Uh, resource depletion, governance issues, climate change, like the whole meta crisis thing. I feel like I'm finally in it and doing something that's suited to, to who I actually am, my unique, makeup or whatever. I'm on the path to figuring out that intersection. And that's what I want to talk about. That's what this is, right? The lifeboat flotilla. 
I've got some role to play in that. And, and I feel like I'm, I'm free to do that now. And so if any of that resonated for you at all, you're who I want to talk to. And, and, it, and particularly if you feel stuck, if any of that resonated and you're like, yeah, how the fuck did you get free? Like, how did you figure that out? Um, do you, oh man, let's, let's chat. Like stay tuned. A, but B also like get in touch, send me an email, shoot me a DM, whatever, get, get a hold of me. Like, let's just chat. I want to talk to you. I want to know what your questions are. I want to know like, you know, the things that I put out there, um, what's useful, what's not, um, what questions do you have? What curiosities do you have that maybe I can answer or we can explore together? Like, let me know. Let's, let's do this. I'm in a phase of my life now where I'm kind of pulling my head out of my own ass and, uh, I, I'm just extremely jazzed to engage with other people in this journey. You know, they say there's that aphorism, right? If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with friends. And I, I just kind of sprinted through a certain part of my journey because I wanted to get, I needed to get somewhere quickly. I need to get to a place of freedom and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm there now. Now, now it's the long journey. Um, and so it's time to go with friends. So yeah, if any of this resonated, get in touch. I would love, love to chat emails, Tyler at tylerjdisney.com. You can find my contact information on the, on the front page of my website. Hit me up. All right. Take care.